Let's take a tour of HPE ILO 7. This latest release has been redesigned from the ground up with a new generation ILO ASIC and a new firmware stack. The modern GUI, built on a workflow-oriented design, operates on top of this architecture, providing a seamless and intuitive management experience. As we start on the main overview dashboard, you'll notice some familiar elements, such as menu bar on the left side. We streamlined it into six main management areas that you frequently access, making navigation more efficient. The overview dashboard, firmware management, host management, security operations, HP apps, and lastly, ILO settings. As you'll see, we've updated the design of each menu screen with a modern card layout. This layout organizes information into individual self-contained cards that make it easy to view key details at a glance. One of the major benefits of this design is that information is now surfaced directly on the cards, reducing the need to click into each section to access important details. As an example, on the firmware page, you'll see how the capacity of the ILO repository is now visible with this blue bar. Let's go back into the main dashboard and look at some new features here. The first new feature is the search bar. You can come here for any management setting you're looking for, and it will take you instantly there instead of searching and clicking through each of the menu options. Next is the configuration dashboard. On this screen, you'll find a lot of information. However, in some cases, you might want to focus only on the details that are critical to you. In such cases, you can choose the specific contents to display here. Now, let's look at the top right corner at the quick glance feature. This drop down menu allows you to quickly view the server name, our host name, date and time, and you can also check the overall ILO and system health. Items in green mean things are going well. Those with yellow and red markers need your attention. Now let's click on the one of the items, red security, to take a closer look. We're now landing at the security page. There are a set of cards which access the navigation links into a particular function or workflow. In addition to that, they also aggregate key information with real-time data. For example, I can look at the security log and know at present there are 67 events and that 14 are critical and need attention. By clicking on the security log card, I can dive deeper to review the actual logs and view the detailed information about each event. In the overview, you can quickly check whether there are any security risks in the current ILO settings. Clicking on this section will take you directly to the security dashboard, where you can see detailed information about which specific settings are flagged as security risks. We see five risks here, including SNMP version one is enabled. On the right of the screen, you'll see the quick links this provides quick access to some of the associated configuration settings and details pertaining to each menu area. For example, if you want to look at SNMP settings because your security is at risk, you can click on access and then select the SNMP card and click on the pencil. And you can disable SNMP up here. Finally, let's take a look at the integrated remote console and virtual media. You can easily launch it by clicking the thumbnail located in the bottom left corner of the screen. Additionally, in the remote console tab, you'll find the virtual media menu in the upper right corner. You can mount ISO image from either a local PC or remote file share. That concludes our quick tour of the new HP ILO 7 management UI that comes with HP ProLine Compute Gen 12 servers. Thank you for watching.